Well, got yet another story of this time the Hindus showing that they're really no different than the Muslims and that Hinduism is every bit as bloodthirsty and violent and barbaric and savage-like savage like as Islam over in Pakistan. You got the Hindus over in India and the Muslims over in Pakistan. But this story, uh, this is on Hindu to watch, it says Christian wife, mother attacked in India. And basically what's going on is that these Hindu thugs, these brute savages basically, attacked this Christian woman who was apparently the mother of a one month old baby. And they attacked her in an attempt to try to intimidate her, her uh, husband, who was a pastor, into closing down his church. Because you see, really, with Hinduism, there is no uh, freedom of religion and church-state separation. It's that simple. Hinduism is every bit as uh, bloodthirsty and violent as uh, Judaism, the religion of the Jews, the Muslims, the, the Islam, you know, the Catholicism, all that stuff. It's all the same. They all desire an earthly theocracy, which is what sets Bible believers apart from all of them. But it says here on Hindu to Watch, the Christian mother of a one-month-old child was brutally attacked by radical Hindu nationalists. In India last month, the incident occurred when a mob of nearly a dozen men broke into the house of the woman and her pastor husband. The mob intended to intimidate the family into closing the church that he has been running out of his home. When the mob discovered that the pastor was out shopping at the local market, they attacked his wife and said, beating her with wooden sticks. She sustained major head injuries and was knocked unconscious. When the violence finally ended, she was left badly bruised and required over a dozen stitches. The pastor husband of the woman recently told an international Christian concern, I couldn't conduct worship for three Sundays as I needed to be with my wife in the hospital. Unquote. The pastor has been receiving threats ever since he founded the small church over five years ago, but despite the recent attack and the persistent danger, he remains steadfast. I cannot run away from here, from here fearing the attacks. I committed my entire life and I will continue to serve God in the same place. Amen to that. Don't don't be just, don't be uh, uh, intimidated by these thugs, these Hindu nationalist uh, you know savages basically, who are you know attempting to, to silence your freedom of speech and freedom of religion, which supposedly the Indian Constitution allows. But again, once again, prove my point that these Hindus are no different than the Muslims. They're every bit as barbaric, bloodthirsty, and savage-like and animalistic as the Muslims. That simple. And by the way, too, if I was this pastor, I would start buying some guns. Because quite frankly, there's nothing scripturally wrong with self-defense. I mean, if this, if this was me in this situation, I'd be buying some guns. And next time they come to attack me, I'd be, I'd be uh, unloading my magazine on them. That simple. But anyway, continuing on. Says here, the leaders of the criminal mob are known, but, report, but they are reportedly influential with the authorities, and so police have not chosen to file a first information report against them. While the Hindu nationalist Barnata Janata Party, I think that's how you say it, is not currently in control of the state of Rajasthan, where the attack took place, attacks against Christians are increasing in number. Elections in the state are coming up, and the trend of increased violence against Christians portrays nationalist rule. We pray for the recovery of the pastor's wife and for the safety and security of the whole Christian community of India. And like I said, the self-defense is a scriptural right. And I, again, like I said, if this was me in that situation, I'd be buying some guns. And the next time they try to attack, you know, I'd be unloading my magazine on them. That's simple. Because if I was the man of the house, I'd have a, a job to defend my family. You know, it's that simple. So, uh, like I said, this just shows the kind of fruit that comes out of Hinduism. It's every bit as bloodthirsty, barbaric, and violent as the Ishmaelite Muslims over in Pakistan. So don't be deceived by anyone who tries to tell you that Hinduism is a peaceful, pluralistic religion. And also don't try to, don't, don't uh, be buying into this narrative that we should white knight for the Hindus against the Muslims. No, both sides are equally as barbaric and bloodthirsty. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.